Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity. As usual I hope you have a fabulous day and I'm here with my two snowmen and a Santa. For the background I've used again the KS Craft Basic Stitch Slimline and I've also used the MX Arts um, sort of like stamp postage edge small rectangle dies because I know not everybody likes slim lines so I thought I'd make smaller ones today but I did use this one just to be able to crop a square I'll show you that and for the Eiffel store dies there's one snowman bag of bits there's a Santa bag of bits and there's one of those lacy cut bauble Christmas bauble dies so that's what I've used and to go along with those Dollar Tree foam pads, it's a nice new roll that's falling apart on me. I've used some Dollar Tree Baker's Twine. I've used Dollar Tree Jock Glue in that AliExpress needle tip bottle. I used my snips again to cut those dies apart and I've used my wax tip pickup tool this is what you need to look for if you're on the site. I'm trying to get clear images. Maybe I won't. <laughs> and a white gel pen, which has got those little cute characters on. I think these are about 25 cents each at the moment. And I've used two of my Touch 5 markers, and I've used Cool Grey 1, and I've used Peach. So, what else? Oh, yeah. And I got some new stencils and so I gave this one a go and as you can see I haven't cleaned it yet because I'm terrible. <laughs> and that's a cloud one that I got. Uh, I've got a bag that that goes in. I also got myself a grass stencil and I got myself a hill sort of border edge stencil. I got myself a larger cloud stencil and I got myself a birthday party balloons stencil so I will link those below but those are just new things that I bought and I must wash that one right so first up and this one is using the um, slimline die and I cropped this square back and that's easy to do you can just cut a rectangle and then move the die down on the rectangle and chop out whatever size piece that you want. This believe here is from my stash. If I can find it, I will link it. Once again, Echo Park paper. But this is where I use the stencil and I use some white paint to splash around. Now, this die, I have instructed the seller. I like it, but not everyone likes to get their markers and colouring pens out. So I have told him that rather than emboss the eyebrows, he should um, create a die that will cut the eyebrows out separately, cut the mouth out separately, and also cut the hat separately so that you don't have to fussy cut it. So I think he is going to update that one. But having said that, I do like it. And I think he's got a really sweet expression. So that's the one and using the stencil behind and the slimline die. These are the postage edge dies and that is Santa. Right, next up is the snowball die or the Christmas bauble die. And I've done the Santa's little gloves there in red and I've paper pieced back some black for the hat the buttons, the eyes, and done his little orange carrot nose. And there's that Dollar Tree Baker's twine up there. And once again, that Echo Park paper pad. Now, I forgot to measure already, haven't I? So let me get my ruler. And this bauble is almost three and a half inches in diameter when you put the hang loop up there. So it really is a great size. And, of course, I didn't measure Santa. So I don't know why I'm always forgetting to measure, actually. And that is two and a half inches by almost two and a quarter inches. So that's the little Santa and the Christmas bauble snowball. And next up is the snowman. And I think he's just so sweet. 
I've got to get up close there to show you those tiny little berries on the hat. If I get my finger in there, you can see how small they are. And that's why you need one of these pickup tools so that you can pick them up and just dot them straight down onto that drop of glue. I love the little gift that the bow cuts separate and I've done that in plain blue glitter but a little piece of that stenciled uh, background that I had left I cut the bottom section of the gift in a paler piece and then the top section of the gift in a darker piece so it was like a two-tone package and that lovely red cardstock there is from Joanne in fact, all of the cardstock here is from Joanne, except for the back piece, which is Echo Park again, Tuesday morning. So that is what I made. And I think I've shown you everything that I'm supposed to show you today. But I am going to measure him now. And he is a great size. So from the top of his hat to his bottom there, he is four inches. And then his widest point, which is the mitten to the scarf, is two and three quarter inches but I just think he's so sweet and I tried to do everything sort of like complimentary this week because I figure if I'm using similar papers then I'm managing to use up a paper pad and uh, you know I haven't got stuff sitting on the shelf in Florida humidity for months at a time and I'm all blurred again so I'm going to try and correct that or maybe not <laughs> I don't know what it is with my camera. One of these days, my husband said he's just going to throw it in the garden pond. <laughs> yeah, those are the kinds of conversations I have. Right, you have an absolutely awesome day. I apologise for the blur. I am trying to correct it. But as usual, all links below. And I'll see you tomorrow with more Christmassy goodies. Bye.